What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to round off happened last time, we had a pretty dodgy defence of um, Istanbul last time, which caused me to bring back my main army to protect it. And the Ottomans have brought in this force, which hopefully they'll swing forward north to attack um, Sofia in Bulgaria. Mainly because I don't really care about the region, it's not as much of an important deal for me. Um, and then alternatively, um, what we have done is we have captured the territory of Ceylon, Trincomalee, Trincomalee, and we're going to pump out as many, actually what I might do is if we cancel this a sec, get out to Istanbul, recruit some units of, not hand mortars, even though they would be good fun, recruit some line to help bolster the garrison. And what we have done is we've landed a force here in Ceylon, and we've landed another force here. It's going to move on and take um, our cots. And then because this force, na this small navy is down here, my navy could manage to fight it. Um, it's probably one that I should really try fight, because it's two force, then some bits and bobs, and I've got three force and a fifth and a sixth. But what it's made me realise is that I have no naval dockyard in this region. Um, the ideal... Place to capture would be um, Gerjrat because they have two free ports. So this one could be built into a dockyard quite pain free. Alternatively, if I needed a dockyard earlier than that, I can destroy this one and build a dockyard. But then again, it depends on how well my push forward into India goes. Which I might stay that for the moment actually because it could go quite well. So let's repair it. And but yes, I still have. Um, a number of Indian factions still just kind of wandering through my town, through my regions. Oh, and I've forgotten this army moving on to attack Arakabad. Akbarabad in Hindustan, which may or may not go well. I would like to reinforce them with this army at the earliest opportunity, but I need to recruit some troops. In fact, that might even mean... Recruit the militia unit to garrison this port, um, but spend the rest of my time actually building... East India Company troops and um, a unit of sepoys to provide four line infantry to bring this army up to snuff and then get them out to keep supporting the push inland or maybe even start to drift this way to fight these armies. And this army in Kabul is still recruiting. Ultimately, I may choose to join them up with some artillery from here when the artillery cannon foundry is built to create kind of a a sweeper up force, you know, a second tier army whose job it is to go into these sorts of spots and go, right, you've got a bunch of chaff and a bit, a couple of guns and I'm actually going to use these guys to chivvy them onwards. I think that's going to be my plan. Just quickly check my um, research tab. Yeah, things are still being researched that I want to research. Cool. Like I said, I'd like to, to, bo to boost this navy out so I can redeploy this army somewhere useful. Preferably Calcutta, and swiftly move on to Katak. Um, but I need a navy of some sort. And currently I am at peace with Mysore, but Mysore are not allied with the Mughal Empire. They're trading with the Mughal Empire, but at some point I will have to knock them out because Mysore is a very valuable region. See, 10,800. Does mean fighting a bunch of Mysorean troops, like lots of stacks. I probably want to mix together two of my own, or maybe three of my own. Um, but if I can capture um, um, Arcot and then capture Bengal while still holding on to this province and keep pushing down from the north, I think I'll have... Um, I'll be quids in, effectively. Ooh, and I've just seen I am not quids in there, so what's... So why am I not quids in currently? Ah, two major trade, trade routes are being blockaded. Okay. And I could. No, there's no point in me trying to beat this navy. Lots of first and seconds and a damaged second tier fleet. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to keep you where you are. What am I doing with this army, actually? Is send them on a... I see, but it is now the chance for me to conquer India. Not conquer India. Um, attack Sweden. Maybe. No, right now things are quite helpful and um, with them not causing much of a fuss in their part of the world. Let's get you back into position. 
Let's hit enter and see what the Indian response to all this is. There go my my agents. But yes, I'm kind of making a, a bit of a deliberate choice to not get involved in Europe um, just yet. Anyway, my focus is going to. I want my focus to be India because I haven't really had a proper dig around in India yet. Like with with any of my campaigns, I've all more or less kind of gone. I'm not going to do it. Um, I might dig in a bit with France. Which should be a bit different because the this uh, this campaign it's the Mughal Empire that's victorious. My French campaign it is the Maratha Confederacy. But mainly, with France, I kind of want to be a bit more even. Bit of Europe, bit of America, bit of India. Whereas Russia, I would like to take the advantage of me pushing into India right now. So the opportunity to intercept, which I'm not gonna do. I want them to hmm, try to trick me into fighting, eh? Yeah, to be honest, I may as well um, surrender Baltic control to Sweden, because there's no point in me trying to build a navy to stop them. Ooh, rebellion! Rebellion in the Mughal Empire. And they've just left their region completely... Ooh, I heard a... Was that a naval blockade? I didn't get to see it, I don't think. Hmm. Oh, As you may or may not be able to tell, um, that are not currently being I've got a sore throat on the way, so that's why I've got a little Glencairn of Scotch next to me. Because it's one of those... Uh, Rare occasions where I think that it's actually okay. Not that it's not okay, obviously you can have it whenever you want. But for me, it's kind of a... Oh, perfect. Good. So let's bring you guys down into the Indian interior and do a bit of exploring. Yes, for me, it's almost more of a more of a health drink when I've got a sore throat. Okay, so major fishery in Antalya, good. Some investment in Jerusalem. Excellent. Not really bothered about military buildings just yet. Same with you. You can you've got a good enough. Um you've got a good enough barracks to recruit your own guard infantry. Cairo guard. Well have some of those. Faith reaffirmed. Excellent. Okay. So let's upgrade you. Firstly, chiefly. Oh, God alive, I am not going to assault you. No heckin' way. Good, let's recruit a... Is there a limit on the number of mercenaries I can build here? There is. Mixture of mercenaries and supporters to hold Lahore. Upgrade the farm. Don't upgrade this mine because it might spur them into moving. Aha, Weaver's Cottage upgrade. Good. So this army move on our cot. Let's maintain for now because I want to knock out first step I want to do, first thing I want to do this turn is to knock out this army. That way I can push across the river the, my main front. And once I capture the next big city and build up, I can start generating stacks indigenously within country rather than shipping them down from Baghdad. For recruit them in Moscow. Okay, let's just put... Hmm. Let's form a grand... No, not a grand battery. I don't like forming grand batteries, if I can help it. With a unit of elite militia on your back. And these guys, you're probably going to be on this little, little rise here. Yeah, that looks like a good spot to me. 
That's way too much infantry for that gap. Good. And let's... Deploy four on this flank. Go a bit heavy because this is where they've got some buildings. Then on the left, let's make it a bit lighter with only a couple of units. My other not so veteran militia unit can guard this piece of artillery. How is in the center? Then I've got a unit of Garda Cheval, which can't hide anywhere, so they may as well be proud on the left. And the first lance is my Ural, Ural Cossacks. Can they hide in these four trees? That they can. Let's deploy my general's bodyguard and let's see what they do. Focus fire. Are they not going to fire? Well, they're about to receive a hell of a drubbing from all of my artillery then. Here comes their artillery. Not artillery, cavalry, sorry. Keen on this, getting my my guns hitting different targets. Particularly my howitz is firing quick climb. Camel gunners on the left. My lance is back. Form square because they are charging. You should be enough to hold the square. Don't want to send my lances in because they talk about how camels are so good against lances. You need to cast shot that unit of Shamal get camel gunners and move up the militia. There we go. Let's get one unit to blast the camels. Trying again, trying to break the square, but they've got a volley waiting for them. Two volleys. Just thinking the rear rank might get involved. Anyway, the main battle lines have hit. Focus fire the general as they're your main target. Start to reorientate my line. Get these guys down in this little. Come on, do you not want them to? You guys form line. We've got some bows coming in, or to be honest, deploy the lancers, bring my guard of cheval on the right. Camel gunners aren't going to be too steady against regular troops. Okay. Russian infantry charge to meet. Threat. Garda Cheval. Storm straight into the centre of their line. Get this militia in. So their artillery hold fire. General's been sniped. No, don't you go. This flank stay where they are. Let's get my general to chase down. We'll go into these guys. No, no, don't shoot. Open fire. Sounds like my quick climb's going to town on the rest of the units, rest of the army, it sure is. So you go after 
that musketeer unit with the militia. My lancers chase down that unit of musketeers. Those elephants could give me a bit of a run for my money, money but... Don't run into charge, run in and hold your fire. Come on, annihilate this one chap. Turn off guard mode so they will, well, they will try to chase down these guys. General. There you go, just run my guys around the camels for now. Not camels. Elephants. No point trying to kill them. The general's already dead. Wrong unit. You chase down that unit of bows. You all chase down that unit of musketeers. Continue the battle. Must slaughter as many as possible. Six guys in the militia about to pwn them all. Good. Don't bother with the camels. Go after the levy. Let's halt the fire on my howitzers. They're going to get to them. Damn right they will. Of course they went for the elephants. Now you go after the musketeers. Come on, they're nearly out of the line. 69 troops. 67, 64, 63. Good, good, good. But they're still going to make it because these chaps are going to hit the line. No they're not! No they're not! They turned around to face me! Okay you go for the levy because you're tired. Being very wary of this line of spikes where it looks like... Whoa! Run away! Run away! Just about trying to work out whether there's my cavalry. <laughs> Those three are going to die. Accept it. They can always be retrained. It's the glory of the Russian strategy. Go after them as well. All of my cavalry focus on the single unit of levy and let's speed up time. The bows would be better, but I knew they'd flee, so I'd may as well. Just, I'd rather chew up, um, chew up a unit of helpless peasants. There you go. Even the infantry wanted to get involved. Like a swarm of bees. A swarm of angry green bees. Shout very angry words very loudly. It's the Russian cavalry. Excellent. Damn right that was decisive. Push their front line back across the river. 
good. 694, 700 for 2700, good ratio. I like that. Good, you guys replenish. This strong force take the bridge. This force move north to go up here and start to combat some of these centre troops to push them back. I've done the construction. Lead siege to you. Ooh, my army here is almost done. Let's keep it here for one turn. Then I'll move them out. Oh yeah. There's a recruitment here. Okay, so let's reinforce this main army because this is the, uh, the hellfire the Turks have brought down onto them. Let's recruit some early marines to sit here and mean uh, in on guard duty. Let's. Pick a new. Let's upgrade a farm. Good, good, good. Because, yeah, I don't want to fight you, Ottomans, but you're forcing me. So I'm going to go for Athens, then I'm going to go for Belgrade. Well, to be honest, if I go for Athens, I'll try, probably try to call. Go for peace. Cool. So let's take this army out. Let's put you in. To be honest, I don't even need to... Uh, I don't know. I'll try auto resolve it. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I've got the temperament to fight it. Mm, not bad. Opened it up. But importantly, what I did. Get you back out. Okay, embark. Get them up here to lay siege to Calcutta. Then let's get the militia back in the port. Is that a big British army? And firstly, you disembark your army. You. Oh God! Same again. I am not going to attack that. Holy heck! They could get the troops are bad. Um. But my guys could get torn to shreds trying to get in there to attack them. Oh no, wait. <laughs> I totally pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I meant to click to each. Nadgers. Okay. Stand off at great distance. Knock down some walls. Knock down all the walls, actually. Provide as many entry points. Sorry. Oh Christ, it's not even a Ooh, bit of a graphics snafu up there. I did not know it wasn't even a fort battle. Ugh. I don't know what's going on there. Ugh, right, no. Let's turn you down. Oh God, shadows are on. Hi. No. Okay, let's fix that. To be honest, I think all my graphics are... I think I might have to put up with it for a minute, guys. I'm going to sort this out properly. Offline. But I want to have these guys set up, firing quick line. Alright. <laughs> it's bothering me now. Sky low. Shadow's low. Hmm. Bit of a test. Um, it's not really a graphics feature. I've had an Empire before, so I don't know if it's... Uh, don't know how to fix it. Presumably it's something to do with the sky. But I don't know. All I know is Shadow's low, sky low, because I don't... Okay, good. Whoa. So if I go all the way up, it goes black. You can just see the horizon, so they just don't go all the way up. How weird. Anyway, you guys, garrison, quick lime shot. 
cavalry is going to be on the left and you are going to advance hard. My artillery is going to be on the left in the form of a grand battery. Your job, should you choose to accept it, try and deploy these. There you go. Just fire them, with, fire on them with everything you've got in terms of round shot. my line get ready to to move up oh no sky issues back come on where did you go God, that's not going to get frustrating at all, is it? God, my... Oh, God! I can see those... those I can see those number counts shrinking instantly. Like, while I was here trying to deploy my troops. Already another volley. Just need to push up. Get those guns under threat as quickly as possible. I don't care how tired you are. Smash right into them. Smash right into the garrison militia. Guns out here. Well, my my artillery, canist my regular artillery can shoot at them. Swarm onto the guns and swarm onto the troops. Chase them down. Don't let them reform. Keep going. Hold my artillery because it's probably killing me now. <laughs> Just an absolute storm. Just go right at him. The my artillery with quick lime seem to be dealing with everyone else.
absolutely utter, utter ruin and panic. Get my general involved, may as well. Are you routing all the way out here? Yes, you are. Good. Okay, let's stop my howitzers from firing at all. Why don't you ask me to chase down that unit of colonial line? Let's just make them stop firing at all. It's safer. Broken off the attack. Cavalry straight into this regiment. Ooh, East India Company infantry looks cool. Absolute God, this that's really weird. I think. Could be something to do with the fact it's foggy. <laughs> that went a lot better than I thought it did. Just absolutely don't even care. Well, there we go. Army destroyed. Calcutta is mine. By accident. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, radio. Looking at the uh, the timer, I think it's time to end the part. So. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you next time.